I got tired, like, of the same things, like, you know what I mean? Like, over and over again, getting high and saying I'm not getting high and, you know, repeat, 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 He's telling the truth. Like, um, <laughs> nah, but you know, you know, it, it was more than that. It was actually I overdosed. You feel what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. um, I used the I used this platform with the with the thank God to. Uh, <laughs> man, what's wrong with you, man? Is that funny? What's wrong with you? He laughed in the background, man. Bring, man bring, That's your brother, right? That's your brother. Crazy, man. He's, he's, a, mechanic. he's, he's a mechanic. K Dub, he's a mechanic. The mechanics always laugh. K Dub is a dastardly <laughs> individual. <man. laughs> so, guys, nah, so you so almost, almost overdosed. Yo, I did. No, you know what yeah. I mean. And, and um, all of, all of these things happened. The overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs. And you know, career wise, I wasn't where I wasn't where I wanted to be. <laughs> what is this? What's up with you, man? Man, hey, you finna get slapped. Man. <laughs> I mean, we cool, but I slapped the shit out no, you by left. Hey, oh man, man. I'm just I'm just telling you, we hey, cool. You ain't gonna slap me now. now what, what you want to do? You, you ain't gonna slap me. Now. Hey, what you want to do? Hey, you, hey, you gonna hey. hurt yourself? Yeah. Don't, don't let him take you out of your. <laughs> Sober Joe. Come on, no, man. Do don't mean bank here though. Hey, listen. Hey, man, you. Hey, listen, hey, both of y'all, all y'all, oh, everybody came in this motherfucker with me. Hey, look, everybody came in this motherfucker with me. Hey, look, everybody came in this motherfucker with me. Hey, look, remember who you came in and remember what we doing here, man. Come on, man. Let's get this shit together, bro. All right? All right. I'm sorry, guys. Well, and, first, and first of all, Joe, congratulations on being Absolutely. two years sober. First yeah, like I was saying. Three, actually. Three. three I'm yeah. approaching four. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, uh, like all of these things happened to where it made me want to actually seek something better you know what i mean so when i took myself to rehab out in la um did a couple months out there and it was cool you know what i'm saying i got back out and i was still tempted to live that kind of life but i saw what was in front of me and i, I was like this is more valuable than what's behind me yo ti was not playing with that boy so young joe and ti was doing an interview on the breakfast club yesterday and young joe for years he been talking about his addictions, like what he been doing. He been drinking and popping pills and just doing too much of the wrong shit. He been talking about that for a long time. But he actually revealed that he overdosed a few times. He was talking about how T.I. son had to resuscitate him and a whole bunch of other shit. And then he was talking about his daughter, O.D. too. And whoever that dude was that T.I. brought on the show, he was in the background laughing and giggling. Like, around the whole time when Young Joe was talking about his addiction. So Young Joe like, yo, what the hell? And they even paused the interview a couple of times. Charlamagne and DJ Envy were like, yo, hold on, man. Like, why your man laughing? You talking about some serious shit right now. He in the background giggling. And Young Joe was like, yo, I'm about to smack the shit out you. And that nigga T.I. had to turn it to ATL for a second and say, yo, partner, be clear. You can't hit with me, shawty. I want your ass to get it together. Or you gonna get the hell on. Like, that nigga T.I. turned back into West Side Backhead on his ass. Got his partner under control. But then after the interview aired and it went viral, the dude who was giggling, he came out and claimed that he wasn't laughing at Young Joe talk about him and his daughter overdosing. He was laughing at something that happened earlier. Even though I don't believe that shit, he just ain't trying to get cut off by T.I. Because T.I. was like, look, partner, you doing way too much. You laughing at my boy talking about some serious shit. He ain't trying to get put out the group, so that nigga probably lied. But yo, that shit was hella disrespectful, man. But I'm glad that they checked him right then and there. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be